How's everybody doing? It's like five in the morning. I'm awake because I have issues sleeping sometimes. It happens like every couple of months, but here we are. Uh, this is Linux wallpaper engine. It's pretty cool. Works in Hyperlint. Uh, it takes some configuring to set up. In other words, you're going to have to, uh, if you're going to compile it, you got to install the dependencies. There's for Ubuntu and for Arch Linux users, you guys get the easy way. It does everything for you. Uh, you need to own Wallpaper Engine on Steam. Okay, that's a must. It's right here. And it basically installs to here. Wherever that just went. I hope to God Kitty didn't reinstall itself. Because if it did, I'm going to be mad. Uh, I'm going to be mad mainly because Kitty doesn't really like me. But there's its installation. It will automatically detect from there. As you can see right here, it mentions good news. You usually don't need to copy anything manually. The app will automatically look in this common install path. So that's good. Now, once that's done and this is all done up, you run a simple command. So Linux wallpaper, then you run the screen you want it on. And then you want it to either scale, uh, scaling to stretch if you've got a 1080p video and then the app ID of the video and how you find out the app ID of this video is you have to once again open up Steam. So if we go to library, okay, and I click wallpaper engine, we go into the workshop right here. Okay, let me just pull that over there and that over there. And let me just once again scale you. You find what you want. So if I choose Halo, there it is. There's that and there's the one I'm currently running. All you have to do is look up here and after ID, you copy that number right there. It's very hard to see. I know, but it's there and you can see it pretty well. Hopefully enough. It's beautiful. It's great. Um, I don't know. Uh, searching Cortana will probably get us in trouble, so I don't want to do that. Okay. I really don't, but uh, let's search HDR, see what we get. There's some HDR wallpaper. There's a last of us and uh, Whatever the hell that is and there's this and Like I don't know. It, it's mostly weep stuff. Oh And there's the matrix thing. That's pretty cool. There's uh, shattered moon by shadow the shadow the hedgehog That's pretty interesting My only issue with it is it's not a perfect loop Like uh, do we have any ones that are a loop? Can we search loop? Yeah, so there are some ones that are a perfect loop. Like this one and this one. Look, look at that. It's not doing anything, but it's a loop. And they're sleeping. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff here. Uh, That's a weird loop. We're just going to ignore half of these weeb ones because we're not that type of person. There's Resident Evil 4 one. Like, I'd love if there was a, like, ooh, there's a beach. Right? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. <gasps> Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Subscribe. I'm just going to download it. And so I'm going to copy this in here, right? Because this is what we want. And uh, if I click the desktop. Uh, I'm going to have to probably just kill this, aren't I? Oh, it didn't exactly work. It's still going. Stop it. Oh, yeah, I'm probably just going to have to exit out of it, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, so that should be done by now. So what I usually do is this. Go right to the number. Go to ID. Remove it. Hit enter. And now we have an endless loop of Hogwarts. Look at that. That's not as good as the other one, but it's still pretty nifty. The, as you can see, the, the clouds are moving. And the water's moving. Oh, that's interesting. The water's moving. Look at that. The fog is moving. The trees aren't moving, I don't think. I don't know. I can't really tell. Yeah, lights are flickering over here. It's definitely interesting. 
And uh, it's a perfect loop by the seams of it. It's not doing anything weird. So we are dropping frames for it though. 70, 80, 90, it's about to loop. And it looped again. So it's back to where it was. So yeah, uh, this is it. That's as simple as it gets. There's no other way to put it. But you will need to know if you're on DisplayPort 1, DisplayPort 2, HDMI 1, 2, 3, 4. You need to know it. And uh, you need to enter the command to make it work. Because if you don't, again, this is not going to work. Close other tabs. Bye. So you could probably set that to auto run. I guarantee it. So every time your PC starts up, it will auto run. Uh, the only problem is... I, I doubt it's really gonna, you know, adjust with your auto colors and stuff. Like, my colors are meant to be this way. If there's, you know, just to be perfect and stuff. So, I don't know. Ooh, you can list the properties of certain things. Disable mouse acceleration. Disable the parallax occlusion on the back. Oh, wow. They've got parallax occlusion backgrounds. That's cool. All right. So, Monday... Um, you can expect me to be streaming some Doom the Dark Ages, by the way. Yeah. Uh, because one of the subscribers got it for me, so I figured we would do that. And I'm very appreciative of him for doing this. Uh, his name is Xenox111. I think I said that right. Uh, in it... Tux 111. I'm not very good at word at, at names, especially ones like that, I guess. Uh weird. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna approve that comment and that comment too. Some comments do get held. And uh then I'm gonna just go over it and reply. That's what I do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video. I'm very glad that this does work with hyperlint uh someone thought it wouldn't don't know why but this is a pretty cool program i think i will be exploring it in more detail uh in the future oh look at that so we have h264 there's codex there's information there's open decoders like there's a whole bunch of stuff oh wow anyway bye everybody